It's the second day of Christmas. We want to see. I'm PM. We are backstage, and today you're going to meet a mom who hasn't seen her son in 26 years. And you can expect two turtle doves from your true love. Hi, I'm Leslie Uggams, and I can hardly wait to get into this audience and make some holiday fantasies come true. Handsome John Davidson will be here with a song, a smile, of course, a smile, and a brand new star on the horizon. Today's show weatherman, Willard Scott, helps make a fantasy come true on the sidewalks of New York. One of the world's greatest divers, Greg Luganis, goes for the gold. Plus a score of surprises with a happy helping of laughter, gifts, romance. Love, romance, and love. Today on Fantasy. This is Fantasy, a show where dreams do come true. And here's the man who makes them happen, Peter Marshall. And now back to Fantasy, where dreams do come true. So how's this for a record? 16 national championships, an Olympic silver medal, a world championship gold medal, three NCAA titles, and a man who is described as one of the most perfect divers in the history of the sport. He is 21-year-old Greg Luganis, a man we wanted to meet because we felt you would like to know about Greg and his fantasy. So here's Greg on location with our camera crew. In 1976, having my parents there was such a relief. I couldn't spend that much time with them because I was constantly training, but before every dive, I'd look out in the crowd and pick out my mother and wave to her. It was just very exhilarating to know that they were there and they were behind me that much. <laughs> Oh, Greg, he was adopted from the, uh, the moment we got him. We told both of our children, they're both adopted. And uh, they've always known. This is when you die. Okay. Greg was 18 months old. I was taking my daughter to uh, dance class. And uh, he kept getting out of my lap and going in and um, doing acrobats with the group. So the teacher says, well, just let him come on back. So he was still in diapers. And uh, he, that's when he started doing acrobats and tapping and a little jazz. He was 12 years old when he had to stop acrobats because his kneecap was pulling apart. And the doctor insisted on it. And the only thing he could was left for him to do was diving. It was pretty disheartening. He cried, because he loved it. When Greg's first meet, I was quite shocked. He won it. <laughs> When I first saw Greg dive, he must have been 11 or 12 years of age, and uh, I was extremely impressed even at that stage. For most kids, you can't tell at that age how good they're going to be, but it was obvious that he was going to be a superior diver. When I first started diving, um, I never really thought that I was good enough to make an Olympic team, because that's everybody's dream. You know, it's something that seems so far-fetched, but is really right at your grasp. Two golds in 1984 Olympics. That'd be my fantasy. <laughs> so I guess this would be the climax if uh, he makes it to the 84 Olympics. I think Greg has a chance to be a double gold medal winner in 1984. I think he has a very excellent chance of winning a gold medal in the 84 Olympics. I believe in my heart he'll win at least one. Oh, a lot of people think that I'll come back with two gold medals, but uh, it's not completely ridiculous to think that I might be able to come home with two gold medals, but I don't know. It's going to be tough, and it's going to be a lot of work. But I'm ready to put that kind of work in it. As you saw the title, one of the world's greatest divers is well-deserved. Greg Luganis, somehow we know when the medals are passed out at the Olympic Games, America will be well represented. Tomorrow, Greg, incidentally, will be back to make a fan's fantasy come true.
Christmas, everybody. Welcome backstage at Fantasy. I'm Peter Marshall. And I'm Leslie Uggins, and do we have a day lined up for you. Mm -hmm. A mother meets two sons she hasn't seen in 26 years. Wild, wacky, and wonderful. That's a description of Ruth Buzzy. She'll be here to help with the gift giving. And we'll meet the Olympic champ known as the Vereshnikov of diving, Greg Luganis. Now, Fantasy Grams go out throughout the country in response to your letters, plus a special Christmas helping of surprises, laughter, romance, and love. Next. This is Fantasy, a show where dreams do come true. And here's the man who makes them happen, Peter Marshall. Yesterday we watched the amazing talents of Greg Leganis, the Olympic diving champion that Sports Illustrated magazine calls the Berezhnikov of diving. Today, Greg takes the time to make a fantasy come true for 17-year-old Mia Wagenbach, a high school senior and a member of her school diving team. She wrote that her ambition was twofold, one, to meet Greg, and two, to get some tips as a help for her other fantasy, to be in the 1988 Olympics. We introduced them and sent our camera crew to record the event. Watch this now. I never thought I'd meet Greg Luganis. I thought there was no way. It really was a fantasy, and I just couldn't believe it was all happening to me. Yeah. Nice to meet you. That was really nice. Thank you. Came prepared? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How much have you done? Well, I've been diving for about a year and a half, mostly off the low. You ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be, <laughs> I guess. Okay. I'll show you what it changed. Okay. When I first met him, I just didn't think I was there. As the day went on, I started to believe it, and I was more relaxed. That was good, except you're getting your, when you're coming down here, you're getting your head back a little bit too quick. So if you keep your head level and then come through narrow, keep your back straight, then it'll be a more controlled spin. Okay. Okay, don't keep your head in. Okay, okay. in here. All right, that's a lot better. Now, let's move on to the boards, okay? Okay. See what you can do on there. So what was it like being in the 76th Olympics? It's kind of hard to put into words. It was just, you kind of get out, walk out into the village, and there's just so much energy. It's just awesome. Were you nervous? Yeah, first dive, I think you're always nervous. That never changes. We're running out of time. You ready to get to work? Yeah. OK, let's go. <laughs> Greg helps my confidence in diving today because he just told me how easy it was, and as soon as I did it, it seemed very easy. That's the way. That's great. All right, now on the next one, what I want you to do, you're way, you're way up on your toes here, okay? So you don't really have anywhere to go. Once you start down a little bit flatter, your feet are a little bit flatter, so you, so you can rock up, down, up. Okay. What? That was a lot better. You got up about three feet higher on that one. OK? <laughs> Good. Really think about pointing those toes. And also, too, after you touch, Make a little circle with your arms, okay? So it'll stop. Okay. Stop the rotation. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's much better. You feel a difference? Yeah. Ready to go up to seven meter? Yeah. I don't know about this. <laughs> I should get out well, it's, it's not that high. All you do is get part of your butt over the end of the tower, and then you just pike over and you just kind of roll. <laughs> it's cold. Go. <laughs> OK. Aren't you scared? Yeah, that's fine. No now set your arms out. <laughs> set your arms out and just roll off. 
You got it. <laughs> I am so afraid. I don't know if I should do this. <laughs> Just keep rolling. There's only one place you can go. It's on your head. I promise. You got it. Roll. You got it. <laughs> so you have a good day? Yeah, I did. I had a really good time. Good. It's good meeting you. Oh, you too. All right, you ready for this? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's okay. go back. Okay, one, <sighs> two, three, go. I wish I could be as good as Greg. My fantasy is for someday to go to the Olympics and compete. for letting us help, and special thanks to champion diver Greg Luganis for making the fantasy come true. Next, a fantasy gram for one of you at home. We invite some people to write themselves a check for that last minute Christmas shopping.